Alright, so the pet spotlight for today will be on the Wee Bombination, one of the new undead pets added in Warlords, who has a very unique skill called Cleave, which is basically just an AoE that he can spam on your opponents. There's very few abilities that actually do this, and Cleave actually hits pretty damn hard for its ability. It's kind of like Thunderbolt, where it just splits the damage to all your opponent's pets, so there's a lot of damage single target, and it does AoE damage, which is a good ringer on teams that are that use AoE, so he's probably best used in, well just any team that AoEs, he's just really good in AoE teams. Not really, eh, he's an undead pet, he's good in every team basically, even non-AoE teams, he's just a good pet. Where do you get the Wee Bombination? You get him from the garrison sackles, shackles, the, the sacks you get from your garrison uh, pet battle trainers. Uh, you need to have a level 3 pet battle thing in your garrison and he just drops randomly from the satches you get. Satchels, I don't know what they're called. You can also just buy them off the auction house. He should be pretty cheap since there should be a crap ton. I know I have like three of these guys and I don't really bother selling them. I also have just one I can't learn. should probably just sell it. I don't know where it's at though. Not really a big deal. He's really easy to get. He just gets randomly if you don't want to buy him. You'll get him eventually if you just do enough of your garrison dailies. Or you just go buy him. He should be pretty cheap. Okay, so, Wee Bombination. He's, uh, I can't remember if I put him on my tier 1 list or not. He's, he's good. He's a really good pet. I would say he's like a super high tier 2 or just a really low tier 1. Because he's great. He has a great, uh, it's really hard. I don't know if he's tier 1 or not. He's really good. He has Cleave. Cleave is a really good unique special, but his other two abilities, I mean, Death Grip is fine. It's good for screwing over your opponent sometimes, but he's too slow to really take advantage of it in the better way, where you can use it first in the round to interrupt their turn. And his third slot, they're both pretty bad. Usually to just take Haymaker during your turn of immunity to try to, to, try to get some extra damage, because if it goes off, it's 700 damage. If it doesn't, which it's very likely to because it only has a 50% chance to hit, you get stunned for a round. If you use it during your turn of immunity, you can take the gamble, try to go for 700, or just try to go for cleave. Usually you take Consume Corpse and he's just a ringer and he comes last. He's able just to cleave for days and then just use Consume Corpse because he has a ton of health. 1800, he's an HH type. 1800 is pretty high for HH types too. Like the Nubus Death Idol only has 1700. So he has more health than the Nubus Death Idol. His damage uh, isn't that high, but Cleave hits really hard considering how low his damage is. It's only 260, but Cleave hits for 336 damage. It's a lot more than normal. Like here is Wolvar Pup, who is a power power type. His bite and punch, which are basic attacks, they don't do anything special. They hit for 345 damage, and he's power power type. This hits for uh, 336. That's only like 10 less than a power power type basic attack. <laughs> yeah, that's like an overinflated value, I think. Wow, I never actually knew it was that good. Yeah, he hit really hard considering his attack sucks. He also has a really good heal and his third slot sucks. That and I would guess he's tier 1 just because he has such a great cleave. So, how do you use this guy? You use him in AoE teams and you just cleave away. You cleave, cleave, cleave until you're dead. No, you cleave, cleave, cleave until you're around 50%. You use Consume Corpse because you want him to come out last. So you let your other two pets die first. And then cleave, cleave, cleave until you're almost dead. And then you use Consume Corpse your second time because you usually want this guy to come out. You know, third, so you can use Consume Corpse twice maybe. Because he's a lot of health, so he'll be able to survive for a long time and just keep cleaving away. And then during your turn of immunity, you Haymaker because Corpse Explosion is garbage. Don't take it. Just don't even use your third slot. They're both really bad. You can just spam cleave again if you don't really feel like it. Let's see, what teams are he in? Is he in? I've had the most success with him in my dreadful weeaboo team where I just use dreadful breath with the droplet and the score dwelpling. He's also good in uh, basically any other team. <laughs> He's in Kovac Nation too. This is a good team as well. He uses Kovac, Sparrowbones, and Poison Fang and Black Claw and he usually dies before he gets all three of those off. And then you just go into the mechanical Pandaren Dragon Lane and you spam Thunderbolt and then you go into him and then just cleave, 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 cleave and then go back into Pandaren Dragon Lane, Thunderbolt, go back into Wee Bombination and just cleave spam. It's basically all he does. And if you just want to put him into another team full of nothing but overpowered undeads, 
Uh, Graves totally outclasses him. His uh, AoEs are better. He hits harder. And he has more. Yeah, Graves is just way better than Wee Abomination every way. Wee Abomination is still really damn good, though. He was so good, in fact, at the beginning that people were calling for Nurse, but I never really saw him as that big of a deal. He's not as bad as Graves. Graves is really good right now. Probably one of the strongest pets in the game. Wee Abomination, people on the pet battle forums really didn't like him. I never really had a problem with him though, but I do have a problem with Graves sometimes. He's a huge pain. If you don't have pets on your team specifically counter to design Graves, uh, there's a good chance you'll lose. With Wee Abomination, that's not really that big of a deal. That's why I'm not really sure if it's a tier 1 or not. He's definitely a really good pet, but all the other tier 1 pets do something just a little bit better. He's still probably tier 1. I don't remember if I put on my list or not though. I probably should have checked before making this video. But whatever. Ooh, look! He got all big and angry. I didn't know he did that. Well, I guess he is the fragment of anger after all. <laughs> Alright, there's not really much more to say on Wee Abomination since he's basically just cleave spam. There's no real special strategies to do with him. There's no real teams. You can throw him on any team and he'll do fine, just as long as it's not like a, a sandstorm team or something. And he has really good survivability because of Consumed Corpse. The other option, Death Grip, can be used too. But I would say take Consume Corpse because it's better. Death Grip is is a viable option though if you just want to switch out your opponent just to screw the strategy a little bit because switching your opponent's pets is a viable strategy in pet battling. It really it can make them lose a turn if they decide to switch back into the pet. So you can get a free turn off that. But Consume Corpse is just a 50% heal with 1800 health. So that's like, what is it, 900 heal, which is crazy. That's as much as a heal as a wish, which is one of the other great heals in the game. And <laughs> just cleave spam. Cleave, cleave, cleave. 